Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and in this video, based off of somebody that asked, we're gonna be walking through every step that you need to do lower thirds through ProPresenter going into your ATEM. So let's go. AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and builds to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member by clicking one of the links down below. So I'm gonna try and make this as short as possible because I have a lot of people sending me comments talking about, did it really have to be this long of a video or whatever? Hey, I just like to be thorough, but oh well. Let's go ahead and cut over to um, ProPresenter first. All right, so here we're in ProPresenter. This is the free version. Um, the paid version is at church. So anyway, let's go over here. Now, the most important thing, I'm going to reference a video that we already did, um, and that just kind of explains the up stream and the downstream keyers. I will link this ab um, above. So make sure you go um, check that out because that's what we're going to be using. Don't really have time to explain all of that. That video already covers that. So let's get our stuff set up. Mainly, this is going to be in a template that we're going to be using. Now they have ProPresenter already has templates set up. So I personally at church, we use this rectangle one. And that's just the one I'm going to use right now because it makes it easy um, to do. So say we're just going to, let's do Bible, some scripture stuff here. Let's do the 21st Psalm. All right. So as you're seeing right here, it's already a template. Now we need to make sure we don't send anything in the background. So let's go over here to options and we're going to change our template to just a basic lower third scripture which will, as you can see from the checkerboard, that means it's not sending anything there. Um, I am not gonna go through changing the font and all that other stuff. I just wanna show you how to set this up. So as you can see, let's crank this up, the image size a little bit. Anywhere where you see this checkerboard, that means nothing is coming through. It's sending transparency. So the only thing it's sending is this rectangle with the text. That's all that's going through, and that is going into my switcher, which is input number two. All right, so let me move this off screen, and then we're going to turn on, well, actually, let me go back over here, because I haven't had this in a while. Let's set up our screens first. Preferences, screens, and we're going to set up this one, which I need to be careful how I do it, because it's going to turn off. So it's going to go into... Um, black magic hdmi so that's where it's going to go so let's close this so now we're set now if i pull this off screen and i turn it on again you see the logo because this is not a registered version um, so it'll still work you will see this humongous logo so if i click on our scripture boom there we go the logo should go away sooner or later um yeah, under me, it says unregistered. So hopefully you get the gist. There it goes, it goes away. So it's gonna come back and forth. All right, so we got that. So now let's turn this, let's go to our computer over here. I'm using the upstream key for you to see me right now with my green screen. All right, so now what we need to do is come over here to our downstream keyer and we're gonna set our fill source and our key source. I have my computer's output going into the ATEM. So that's what I'm going to select. Now I labeled mine. Yours may say can't input one or camera one through four or something like that, but I named mine. So mine is PC. So the fill source is the PC as well as the key source. All right. That's all we got to do. And all I'm going to do is hit this on air and boom, there we go. So let me switch back to the main camera itself. Boom here. And let me turn off my key because I don't need to have that here at the same time. All right. So now all we are going to do is press the DSK button. That's all we set. Because remember, we are um, broadcasting just this transparency here on the computer feed. This is what's coming through. All right. All right. So if we switch back here, all we got to do is hit the DSK 
button, and boom, there you go. Now, you can see it's grayed out a little bit, so we might have to come in here and tweak those settings a little bit. So if we switch back over here to the PC, now what we need to do is just gotta dial that in. That's normally gonna be your um, pre-multiplied key here. So you just gotta dial that in. Um, and it's probably a little bit too much, so that's why I'm gonna just bring it back. And it's kinda hard to do this because I'm not seeing what's going on right now. Um, I guess I could bring it up. Oh, you can't bring it up because I'm on that screen. <laughs> anyway, let me bring this off and turn this on. All right, so we have our this back here. Let me switch back to me, back to me. And let's turn the on the DSK again. And all I'm doing is going through on the clip and changing the guide. So, I mean, the slider. So last time you saw it, it was at 40. It starts to look fine right here at, I'm at 24. 24.7 so I'm just gonna make it straight 24 and we should be good so if I turn this off now and then I'm gonna bring the software back up so you can see what I did actually I still had the DSK on we cut over here as you can see in this setting all I did was dial it into around like 24 and the gain was at 70. You just gotta play with that to make sure that you can see what you wanna see. And that's it. And I'm just hitting this auto button. So let's go ahead and do that again. And I can actually do this differently now Now that I have this all set up. Let's switch over to me. I'm gonna switch over, actually, let me switch over to the computer over here. All right, so you see this is on another computer that I'm controlling everything. And if we switch over, we're gonna turn the DSK on. And there's our scripture. Now, all of this is played in your template, all right? So it's not like it's anything super extravagant that you wanna do. And it put, it put the lower third over top of me um, from the upstream key, which I think is funny. But, um, you know, play around with this. I'm just using everything that was already done in ProPresenter. So I'm not making anything new. I just used an example of a template that they already had. And I just used that. It's not sending any background color. It's sending transparency. The only thing it's sending is this bar that you see right here. That's all that ProPresenter is sending. And honestly, this is the exact same way with any presentation software. Worship Extreme, Easy Worship. This is exactly how the same thing works. So hopefully that makes sense to y'all. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And I don't think I went 20 minutes with that one. But anyway, um, hope that helps y'all uh, for the people who wanted me to walk through that whole process. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. I want to thank the patrons and the YouTube members for making this video possible. Their names are on the screen right now and you too can become a patron for as little as one dollar a month or you can become a youtube member by clicking the join button down below no matter which way you pick folks you are helping us train media ministries all over the world thanks for watching folks this is aj and we will see you on the next video later